So we went to Cheddar's and it wasn't that bad really as far as like the vegetarian vegan options. Um, they actually have this one thing called the veg the vegetable plate which is um, you can get a side salad and four side like sides and I got the side salad and it came with a croissant and I've got the broccoli and the mashed potatoes and the corn and some red beans and rice which turns out red beans and rice has sausage in it which is okay because I was pretty full by the time I got to the red beans and rice anyways and um, Dan is on a gluten diet gluten free diet so he got steak and ribs but you can't have barbecue sauce apparently which is like a big deal for us because we love barbecue I mean we love it a lot and I'm actually glad that we know this now because yesterday we almost went to our local barbecue joint and bought a bunch of food and um, we uh, were learning that gluten is in a lot of stuff because we had soy sauce which I mean most gluten free things you would think that soy would be okay because it's a totally different deal but they put wheat in soy sauce so he can't have it. He had a little bit of it the other day when I put some soy sauce on the asparagus and he was sick the whole next day. So how intolerant he is to gluten, I'm not quite sure. But it's looking like pretty intolerant. Um, prayerfully, it's all temporary because I don't... Man, I tell you, it's like our lives have changed. I didn't realize how much food has like been such a big part of our lives now. And now that I'm trying to eat um, vegan as possible um, and Dan's gluten free and Makai is cutting teeth so he's going from breast milk and he's gone to formula a little bit and now he's going to like food now so um, our house is changing when it comes to food now I would be okay with meat and I would be okay with eggs and with milk if I could just find a place where I know that the animals are taking very good care of and also there's no like junk in the food like it's impossible it's everything is so high tech these days nobody does anything natural anymore and um, it's so hard to find just organic food it's stupid that you have to call it organic food you should just call it food and everything else should be called fake food or messed with food you know food vegetables the way God made them are supposed to be super great this is the theory I have with the gluten this is what I think I think Dan can have bread I think Dan can have wheat it's the fact that we have jacked up with our food so much with all the different chemicals and pesticides and and it just they've messed with the like the molecular structure of the food of all the food in the world pretty much in our Western society it's been tampered with and now people are getting allergic to things that they should never be have been allergic to. Dan was talking about this, and you know what? This is probably. I mean, this is what he was saying. He was saying um, he thought gluten free. He thought the gluten allergy was just like a rich person problem. Like we just make up things to be sick about. And he used to make fun of people who had things that were gluten free. Well, now he's in gluten. He's gluten intolerant. And I thought that was funny because. He would say, yeah, you never hear about Africa. People in Africa dying from gluten allergies. And I was like, well, they probably didn't have the technology needed to diagnose somebody with a gluten allergy. It has taken a lot. It has taken about a month for us to get to the point where we realized that he has a gluten allergy. It's taken a lot of really invasive procedures and, and, and like um, colonoscopies and stuff. They might not have that in some parts of Africa. So if people are dying and it happens to be from gluten-free, it may be because we don't have the technology there to diagnose them. And plus, if they got things like Ebola and AIDS and all that to worry about, yeah, gluten allergies are going to be a little bit lower down on the list of priorities as far as sending missionaries, doctors, and stuff to help out with. But anyways, I digress. What I'm saying is maybe they don't have gluten allergies in Africa or in Belize, or in um, Brazil, or c countries that don't mess with their food because their food's still natural. It's not been jacked around with. Does that make sense? If 
we just stop jacking around with our food. That's what I want to do. I'm going to get Dan. Um, I'm going to get him some organic, organically made bread. Wheat that has not been messed around with. And see if he can handle it. Because I bet you he can. And then I'm going to write a book. And I want to make a million dollars. I'm outside of ABF right now waiting for him. He has the debit card. So I have to wait for him to come out here and give it to me so I can continue paying bills. And uh, they have a roundabout in the front, so I just drive around it over and over again. But yeah, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit curious if we just stopped messing with food, if we started getting some organic, real food. Because the Bible says pretty much everything that God has made is beneficial and it, it, it's helpful for man. We are able to use it for our good because he looked at creation and he said it is good. Now the fall of man brought in uh, has opened a door and that's why there is death and that's why there is sickness and disease. So maybe things are taint tainted. Maybe bread is now and people can't tolerate it. Um you know, but, and that's the same thing with uh, lactose intolerance. Did they really have lactose intolerant people a thousand years ago? Did they have lactose intolerant people 300 years ago? I mean, maybe they did, and people were just dying because they kept on drinking milk and nobody told them, and they'd never had the equipment and technology to prove that's what was going on. Or maybe it's because we have been jacking with our food, with our cows, I mean, whatever animal people drink milk from. I don't drink milk from it. All right, I think it's crazy to me that it's the idea of drinking breast milk is disgusting. Like my own breast milk or another woman's breast milk, that's crazy. Like in my head, I just couldn't do it. But why is it better to have breast milk from a cow than it is to have from a human being? I don't understand. I don't get that. I mean, I have drank milk all my life but now I kind of see why that's that's kind of gross why are we drinking breast milk from a cow a cow so and there are people who do drink breast milk from people and uh, you know yeah we can sit there and criticize them and call them weirdos and stuff but they are on to something breast milk is so good for you <laughs> breast milk do the research. We should breast. We should be breastfeeding our kids until they're four and five and six and seven. We should. We should be drinking breast milk our whole lives because um, it's super good for you. Oh my gosh! You can put breast milk on a wound, and the wound will heal faster. You can put breast milk in an ear. If you have an ear infection, it will heal. If you have a sty, breast milk will fix that. If you have acne, breast milk will fix that. If you have cradle, you know, baby's got cradle cap or dry skin or um, if they have allergies or if, you know, there's an innumerable amount. There's so much you can do with breast milk. So, I'm interested. Now, I'm not going to go out there and, like, pump my own supply, drink my own supply. But, um, I'm interested. At the moment, I will stick with my almond milk. So, yeah.